Hey guys, me again. A uh, quick uh, review on this uh, this Japanese incense, and this is a Trieto, uh burner. Basically, it's like a little ceramic bowl with a little hole, and also a little hole to push out the remaining piece of incense that does not burn. And this one is called Carnation, and it's called Kafu. So basically, it's less smoke incense, and it is made in Japan. So um, it's pretty decent stuff. Um, the sticks on Japanese, they're cordless. They're not like Indian incense that have uh, the bamboo core. So basically, you get a lot of little incense sticks. They're delicate. They will break easily. So you need to be a little bit more careful with. Uh, with Japanese incense than uh, Indian incense. Now um, they do a paste and then they roll the paste and mix it and they come out with this. They push it out through uh, this machinery and spaghetti sticks uh, come out, spaghetti strings basically, and then they leave them out to so it can get hard. Basically, they uh, they get a horn with uh, the air once they're um, done. I'm not gonna burn the whole stick. I'm just gonna break it and, br and burn it in half to make it a shorter thing. So you just place it in the little ceramic bowl and you light the tip. I mean, very, very, very lightly. You don't have to, you know, create a bonfire to start it up once you see it's glowing then it's ready um, and this one right away you get this instant scent of flowers I mean it smells like carnation but it smells like carnation with something else it, it has a hint of cherry and also um, it, it it has a clean citrusy smell also together with the carnation scent um, as you can see it's glowing it throws out smoke but as you can see it's not a lot and right now I have the fan on so it's moving the air pretty fast so that's why you're getting more smoke here uh, but if you don't have a fan on I mean it will burn slower and it will not release as much smoke. Um, you get your Japanese incense. There's, it's called Japanese. Not everything is made in Japan. There's some that are made uh, in China and some other places. But um, this brand, this style is made in Japan. And it's made by the company called Nippon Kodo. Um, basically, one of the uh, manufacturer of the well-known morning star incense but this is just another type of series of incense and it comes up pretty they have the smaller boxes but they also have the bigger boxes so I bought the bigger box um, this one has roughly I think of like around 120 sticks on it and I mean the stick will last you like 25 30 minutes at the most the full stick this is just half so it will burn pretty fast um, I like Japanese incense. It's more delicate. Um, it's not as strong as Japanese, and it's not as earthy and warm as Tibetan style. Um, it's no way near American type of incense either. It's its own. I mean, Japanese incense is pretty good. It's pretty expensive. I think it's the most expensive incense is going to be Japanese, more than any other brand out there. Um, Sorjedo makes excellent. Nippon Koro makes pretty good incense also, and some other brands out there. But I I lean more towards Nippon Koro and Sorjedo. Uh, Shujaito makes one that's called Translucent Path that is like $700 for a little box of incense. So 
you know, Japanese can get pretty, pretty expensive. Um, as you see the ash staying there, it will drop, but it's going to take a while to drop. Um, I just dropped it. Uh, but it, it's pretty good incense, and, and uh, like this type doesn't smoke a lot. Um, they have four different scents of it. Um, carnation, uh, I think the other one's plum, and then they have aqua and some other one. Uh, they have like five or six different on this series. And this one is uh, less smoke uh, incense, so it doesn't release a lot of smoke. Um, but it's a pretty decent scent and um it's very soft but you can still you know you can still get the essence of the of the incense uh it's not overpowering it's not weak either um so it it, it is it, it is different than stick incense it's just just for starters it does not smell like sometimes you get that burning wood scent because of the bamboo stick burning uh, this one does you don't get that with this type of incense at all this is just a hundred percent pure incense like the tibetan also the same thing it's a hundred percent pure incense there's no there's no uh core on it it's uh everything burns well almost everything this one the little piece gets stays on the bottom of the little plate the, in the holder but you know not a big deal uh, you can get those little pieces and just, you know, burn them, you know, over charcoal if you want to, or, you know, I don't know. You can do something with them. Uh, get them a little bag and mix it with poppery, whatever. I don't know. But, you know, it, it is good incense. Um, it is very delicate and very, very sooth soothing, uh, soothing incense. Um, and um, I'm going to be bringing more reviews on the Japanese incense. Uh, a lot of people, um, they think when they see incense, they, they always right away think about stick Indian stick incense. And there's more out there. There's different types and different manufacturers and uh, different uh, mixtures they put in and different you know price ranges. Um, it's very interesting. And, and actually, it's, it's, it's very... Uh, incense is very relaxing. It's like taking a a good cup of coffee or smoking a good cigar or you know relaxing to to relaxing music. Um, the the scent, you know the sense they release they uh, you you start enjoying it and and it calms you down. Um, they use it a lot for prayer and meditation in Japan, besides, you know, having their room or their house smell good, um, like all the other, you know, instances from, from all the other parts of the world. Um, but it is very good, and uh, uh, as I said before, I will bring you more reviews on different Japanese uh, incense scents, uh, brands. I don't, you know, I bought different ones, but I still sticking to Nippon Kodo and Shoryedo for now because that's what I like the most. So, hope you enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.